understand you got a picture of the bank robbery today. Uh, that's right. I was right there on the spot. <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, we're from the Daily Chronicle. Uh, we'd like to purchase that photograph. Oh. Well, I'll be darned. I was just about to call the police on the telephone and tell them that I had the picture. But now I don't have to tell them. Thank you. You saved me ten cents. <laughs> you got the picture on you? Uh, yes, I have it right here. Say, you two guys look very familiar. Could we have met before? Could it have been last Saturday at the Kitties matinee? <laughs> uh, look, we'll give you a hundred bucks. You give us the picture. How about it? hundred bucks? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Clyde, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Listen, here's a coincidence. These two gentlemen in the picture look exactly like you. <laughs> They're even dressed the same way. Funny little hat and, then, and that neck. That, the, the... It wasn't at the Kitty's Matinee, was it? <laughs> it sure wasn't. And these ain't lollipops either. <laughs> interrupt our program at this time for a special news bulletin. The bandits who held up the Mockingbird Heights National Bank are still at large. Police believe they are hiding out in a private residence until the heat is off. All citizens, be on the alert. These men are dangerous. <laughs> now, back to our music. Look, we're gonna have to hold up here until the heat's off, but it's not doing my ulcer any good sitting here staring at you guys. <laughs> Why don't you go about your everyday living? But no funny business, or we'll blast you. Uh, do you mean you want us to carry on as though you weren't here? Yeah, that's it, lady. Thank you. Well, first things first. You sure? Of course. Yes, buddy. give ourselves up. Cool it. They're just putting on an act to make us crack up. Yeah, and it's working, too. Not with me and Ensign. Come on, we'll just ignore him. This way. <laughs> oh, I just finished tarnishing the candelabra, Matt Lily. <laughs> oh, good. They look much better. It's a little too dark in here. I'll turn them on. <laughs> that does it. Listen to me, all of you. Quiet! Everybody! Into the living room! All right, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Come on, do it! Come on, you do it. Go on. I want all of you to stop all this kooky stuff you're doing. But, sir, you said that if we all went about. Forget what I said. I want you to sit over there and not do nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing! 
sure it gets itself into a mess. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I got us all into this, but, yeah, I was having such fun with my range finder and my light meter and adjusting them. Herman, will you stop babbling? Grandpa has figured a way out. Yes. If I could get down to my laboratory, I could save us. First, I'd write a note to the police. Then I'd mix a potion, changing myself into a homing pigeon. A homing pigeon, of course, whose home is the police station. <laughs> then I'd open the window, fly to the police station, drop the note telling the police where to come and rescue us. The only trouble is, how can I get down to my laboratory with those men right in the kitchen? Yes, and they'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, no, they won't. Because Herman is going to the kitchen right now and stall them. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the <laughs> I am? Yes, you are. <laughs> oh. Well, in that case, I guess I am. <laughs> Swarming with cops. Yeah. Lucky we're here. This dump makes a great hideout. Yeah. Hey, green boy. How come you're not in the living room? Well, I just came in here to stall. I, I, I mean, to see if you were comfortable. Uh, would you care for some milk or some cookies or something? No, thank you. Hey, Lou, I think they're trying to pull something. Let's get back in the living room. Yeah. Out of our way. Uh, say, uh, have you two guys ever heard the joke about the astronaut and the Playboy bunny? No. <laughs> well, I wish you had, because it sounds like a great one. <laughs> hey, where's that old man? What old man is that? The old creep with the monkey suit was sitting right there. I didn't see any creep. Did you see any creep, Marilyn? No, I didn't see any creep. Uh, did you see any creep, Eddie? No, I didn't see any creep. You see, nobody saw any creep. Oh, boy. If I ever get out of this, I'm going straight. <laughs> Dear police, we are being held captive here at 1313 Mockingbird Lane by the bank robbers. Yours very truly, the Munsters. <laughs> Now, for my pigeon potion. Let me see. Stool, tame, fantail, wild, carrier, tumbling, pouting. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Homing pigeon potion. La da dee da dum da dum. La da. Hey, Ralph! What? A trapdoor! Oh. Pigeon potion, give me transportation to that good old police station. <laughs> hey, there's the old creep. What are you up to? Me? I'm just mixing myself a little cocktail. I always have a cocktail this time of the afternoon. Cocktail, huh? With what's been going on around this joint, that's just what I need. Hold it, Rod. Could be a Mickey or something. It can't be. The old ghoul was gonna drink it himself. Yeah, that's right. Hold it. I could use a little belt myself. <laughs> like this, shall we? Cheers. <laughs> Bad. Let's have another one. Yeah, we can't fly on one wing. <laughs> <laughs> Call me an old ghoul, will ya? Now, shoo, up the stairs. 